You're watching Power Drift. Thank you for tuning in or better said, thank you for clicking in. You're here because you want to know more of this car. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome then to the first drive of the all-new Tata Zika. As always, it's my pleasure to bring it to you. What are we waiting for? Now, the car was revealed to us media yesterday evening in what looked like Lionel Messi's very own locker room. The geometric pattern on the dash, uh, they said, makes it look a lot more premium and I can assure you that it works. What you can interestingly also do is color coordinate a lot of things on the inside. The first thing is this insert that you have at the entertainment system and then you have the AC vents which can also be color coordinated to the color of the car and of course the door handle. Now the AC vents which are slightly angled towards the driver really really look pretty. They told us that they are straight from the megapixel concept that was showcased at the Auto Expo. Interesting to see concept elements coming on to road cars at Tata Motors. Now let's get the most important question out of our system first. Is the Tata Zika an all new car? Yes it is. The petrol engine is an all aluminium engine, churns out 85 horses and 114 newton meters of torque. The diesel one is also a three cylinder engine, gets an aluminium cylinder head, however has a cast iron block. Both the cars get multi-drive modes, that is the city and the eco mode. Well, the cars don't get a sport mode that we have seen on Bolt and the Zest. Suspension at the front is McPherson strut and at the back is twist beam. It's not an independent rear suspension. However, it's a dual part suspension. Now, the available engine options are supposed to make this car a zippy car. Hence the name Zika. Apart from that, the seats, uh, well, the front ones definitely are very comfortable. A car like this has to be practical. Yes, you do get half a litre bottle holders at both the front doors and one litre bottle holders at the back. No one litre bottle holder at the front door, but you do get one here at this space. As you see, the uh, handbrake lever has been shifted slightly to the right, so you have more spaces out here. And then there's a, a lot of empty space out here for you. Uh, there's a card holder, a pen holder and what's also interesting is that the glove box as I'm about to open it right now is a damped glove box so it's not something that's gonna fall down and uh, you have something called as the tablet storage area here where I got the papers of the car uh, it's also a chilled glove box the sound system, Harman sound system, really, really well sounding system. Well, that's about it when it comes to the spaces on the inside. When standing at the back of the car and opening up the boot lid, you have 240 liters of boot space at your disposal. As you see, my travel trolley, cabin luggage back sitting in there very neatly and tidy. On to the left hand side and right hand side, you have 3 kg hooks, so your shopping bags don't need to be moving around when you're driving the car. And there's a boot lamp. With the lid closed, the back of the car looks pretty tidy, pretty nice to me. Let's move over to the front now. The headlamps look pretty nice, have a mix of convex and concave surfaces. And then there is the signature Tata Honeycomb grille. With its reduction pattern, it gives a lot of prominence to the logo up here at the front. Overall, the front of the car or the back or the side is refreshingly new and definitely ends up looking a lot better than its main competitor, the Celerio. The keys to the cars are pocket-friendly keys, nice to have that. Now, both the cars, the petrol and the diesel, get this electronic power steering, what Tata calls as E-Pass, really handy to maneuver around this zippy car on the narrow streets of Goa. The cars also get reverse sensors, which is essentially a beep sound as well as a graphic representation out here, as I shall show you. There you go. So really handy for a car which is going to be driven around in urban environment. Now as you see the road there, it's quite a rough road. How good is the ride quality? Let's find that out. Now the wheelbase of this car is just about the same as the old Indy car, but that's just about it. It's a longer car, it's a taller car and with the improved suspension, there is definite improvement in the right quality. Now, from time to time, we have been calling upon auto experts to shed more light on the car and to explain to us a car's relevance in our Indian market. A new car deserves a brand new perspective and hence I call upon a brand new person. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Amay Dandekar from Carwale. Amay, you have been in the thick of testing all the cars all through the years. 
What do you make of your day to day with the Tata Zika? Actually, it's a big step over the old Indica. It had to be because the Indica was a 17 year old car now. So it rides well, the interiors are nice, it's very comfortable inside. Now, Amay, uh, the car is 150 kilos heavier than its uh, main rival, that is the Celerio. What do you make of that? Because the body is more rigid on this car, this car rides really well. It feels more secured on the road, it's very stable. So yeah, I think it's more down to that. But obviously there are going to be like uh, down points where the efficiency is going to suffer because of that. But as it is Tata, uh, like internally claiming that it's going to be phenomenal anyway. So Right. Speaking of fuel efficiency, might I add here that we don't yet know what the fuel efficiency numbers are as the car is not yet launched. Will it be launched with AMT was my next question. Um, it will be eventually, but not when it's launched. It'll be around mid next year because they want to keep the model fresh. Right. Now, all aluminium engine, variable wall timing, which the competition cars don't get. So all this can be had at what price point? Uh, I think it'll be, the petrol especially, will be priced very close to the Celerio. But about the diesel, we expect it to be slightly more than the Celerio diesel. Also because it's got a bigger motor, it's got a three-cylinder engine compared to the two-cylinder in the Celerio. So yeah, it'll, it'll cost more. Well, uh, a lot more of course is what we can tell you when we do get the car for a comprehensive uh, review test. Thanks a lot for tuning in to Power Trip, guys. Uh, do let us know what you thought of the Tata Zika in comment section down below and of course do remember to subscribe to Power Drift. Well what's in my hand? As you know Lionel Messi is Tata Motors global brand ambassador now. So Tata Motors gifted us with this. Share the video ahead using hashtag Power Drift and the best and most interesting share stands to win this awesome Messi jersey.